In 2023, India lost 15% of its generated electricity to technical and commercial losses. Power theft is a major component of this loss. No wonder the debt of the power distribution sector in India rose to 70,000 crores in the financial year 2023. But there's a smart fix to this problem. The AB cable system and its hardware, like the insulation piercing connector. This system has made electricity distribution safer, more reliable and has reduced power theft significantly. Let's take a closer look at how these insulation piercing connectors work. Hey everyone, my name is Sahil and in today's video, we will discuss insulation piercing connectors and by the end of this video, you will understand what an insulation piercing connector is, its applications and the different types of insulation piercing connectors available in the market. But why should you listen to me? At Axis, we have been manufacturing a wide range of AB cable accessories, including insulation piercing connectors for the past 30 years. You will find our accessories installed in various electrification projects across the world in India, Africa and Latin America. Let's start by understanding the basics. What exactly are these connectors? Also known as an IPC, an insulation piercing connector is a type of electrical connector that pierces the insulation of a cable, creating a conductive path with the conductor inside. These IPCs are used in all AB cable and other insulated cable systems. They create tap connections that can extend the line, they distribute the line, they connect to street lights or they connect to households. These connectors also come with a water resistant design that seals the connection, guarding against water penetration. Low quality IPCs allow water to enter the cable and this can cause issues like short circuits and metal corrosion that will compromise the entire electrical system for a town. Additionally, the connectors are designed to eliminate the need for insulation stripping. This makes the installation process quicker than in traditional bare conductors. This feature also significantly reduces the likelihood of tampering or theft. Let's talk about how this prevents theft. Thieves steal electricity by stripping the cable's plastic cover and hooking wires to the metal lines inside. This is very easy to do with traditional bare conductors because there isn't any insulation to strip. AB cable systems and IPCs are different. The metal cable stays fully covered by its plastic jacket and IPCs simply pierce through the jacket to reach the metal conductor inside without uncovering them. After piercing, the IPC covers and seals the hole due to which the conductors inside stay hidden under the XLP cover along the entire cable. Trying to uncover the lines anywhere else is very difficult without special tools. Only utility workers with proper tools can access these conductors safely. This doesn't even give the thieves the opportunity to reach the metal conductor inside. In simple words, IPCs make lives difficult for thieves. I want to go deeper into how IPCs actually work. On the top of the product, the shear head bolt and the nut tightly secure the connector assembly, ensuring a long-lasting connection. The upper body's entire section serves as a guiding path to pierce the XLPE or PVC insulation of the conductor. It makes sure the desired current flows from the main line to the tap line. This waterproof sealing band creates a moisture resistant barrier right at the piercing point. This prevents water ingress that could compromise the connection. The connecting blades, also known as bus bars, are sharp metallic tips that pierce through the cable's insulation to make metal-to-metal -metal contact with the inner conductive wires. These blades ensure the smooth flow of electricity. The lower body portion provides stability for the connecting blade tips. At the bottom, there is a bolt that gets tightened to clamp the connector securely onto the cable, eliminating any potential loosening over time. Lastly, the end cap. This covers the termination point after the connector is installed to prevent any accidents. Next, let's talk about the application of IPCs. These connectors replace the junction box and T-connection box in traditional wiring methods. Both of these boxes require cutting into the main insulated cable, stripping wire insulation and joining conductors together, which was a very labor intensive process as compared to using IPCs. Whereas in the case of IPCs, there is no need to cut the main cable during construction. Branches can be made at any position of the cable 
and no special treatment is required for wires and clips, making the operation simple and fast. Compared with conventional wiring methods, the procedures of stripping the insulating layer, rinsing tin, crimping the terminals and insulating wrapping are also eliminated. This significantly reduces the environmental pollution that was unavoidable in the conventional methods. Hence, you will find these connectors installed in places like low voltage insulated wire T connections, building power distribution system T connections, street light distribution systems and common cable field branches, branch connections of insulated cables in 1 kV distribution systems, and overhead low voltage insulated cable connections. Before moving on to the different types of IPCs, make sure you are informed about product installation techniques, the different applications of IPCs and other products, and just various updates on the electrical industry. Subscribe to our weekly newsletter. You will find the link in the comments. Let's understand the different types of IPCs. There are different types of IPCs for different applications. Let's focus on the major ones used in AB cable systems. First, Let's talk about IPCs used in street-like connections. These IPCs are generally used to tap the main AB cable and connect it to a service line that powers street lights or other applications. Secondly, the multi-tap connection type, also known as multi-port connectors or satellite connectors, these IPCs are used to tap the main AB cable and bring power to households. It is called multi-port because a one-tap connection from the main line can be used to bring connections to multiple households. Thirdly, distribution box charging connections. These IPCs are used to tap the main AB cable line to charge low voltage distribution boxes. These are further connected to different applications such as residential connections and street lights. Fourthly, jumper connection types. These IPCs connect cables of the same size. They allow making T-shaped connections where the cable bends at a 90 degree angle. I hope you now have a clear understanding of insulation piercing connectors, their working and the available types in the market. There are however more types, but these four are the most prominent. At Axis, we currently manufacture more than 50,000 IPCs every single day and our accessories have been used in rural electrification projects across the world. Do you like the concept of AB cable systems and insulation piercing connectors? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more videos about electrical engineering. Before moving on to any other video, please note that to establish reliable and durable electrical connections, these IPCs need to be made of very high quality. But how do you test for IPCs? How do you ensure quality? Here's a quick video showing you the six types of IPC tests as per the French standard NFC 330 2013